Hey, if you're trying to enable virtualization on your PC but can't access the BIOS, don't worry. In this guide, I'll walk you through how to enable virtualization without needing to mess with BIOS settings. Let's dive in. First, make sure your CPU supports virtualization. Most modern Intel and AMD processors do, but if you're unsure, you can look up your CPU model online to confirm. First, you need to turn on Hyper-V in Windows Press Windows plus R to open the run box. Type Optional Features and hit Enter. This will bring up the Windows Features window. Scroll through the list and look for Hyper-V. Check that box to turn it on. This is the feature that enables virtualization in Windows. Hit OK and Windows will set it up for you. You might need to restart your computer after this. Now check virtualization. in Task Manager. Right-click the taskbar and select Task Manager. Go to the Performance tab and click on CPU on the left side. On the right, under CPU Details, you should see a section that says Virtualization. If it says Enabled, then you're good to go. If it says Disabled, we've got a few more things to do. Enable Virtualization via Command Prompt Press Windows plus X and choose either Command Prompt, Admin, or Windows PowerShell admin from the menu. In the window that opens, type this command and hit Enter bcdedit slash set hypervisor launch type auto. This will enable Hyper-V and allow virtualization to work, even if your BIOS settings are locked. Once it's done, restart your computer. After your computer restarts, go back into Task Manager and check under the Performance tab again. You should now see that virtualization is enabled. If you have virtualization software like VirtualBox or VMware, try running a virtual machine to test it out. If it works, then you know everything's set up.